Today we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 3, J Balvin. And I gotta admit, these are dope. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. Today, we're taking a look at an upcoming collaboration sneaker between the Jordan brand and J Balvin, Latin music sensation. Anyway, this is the J Balvin Air Jordan 3. And this is a very, very dope shoe. Now, it's in my opinion, as far as collab sneakers go, they can be very hit and miss. I was not a fan of the J Balvin 1s, and I wasn't a fan of the J Balvin 2s. They just seemed flashy for, like, no reason. And the J Balvin 2s literally had a flashing light on them. But uh, these Jordan 3s, the J Balvin Jordan 3s, these are dope, and they're a great application of the theme. And uh, we're going to talk about it. So we'll take a look at the shoe. From the bottom up, we'll take a look at the packaging. I'll talk about some legit checking indicators, but you kind of never know with these early pairs. We'll talk about it all. Let's go ahead and get started from the bottom up. We're looking at an Air Jordan 3 outsole, and I, you might not even be able to tell the details on it because you got a milky translucent outsole. It's like a clear sole on a Jordan 3, and that is something that you don't see every day. I feel like there was a... Was there a pure money Jordan 3 with an icy blue sole? That might be the last time I saw like a even remotely clear sole on a Jordan 3. With the exception of the sport blue Jordan 3s, which had like a translucent blue sole. So that's already really cool. You already get props for just being different with that outsole. So that's that part. And uh, while I'm over here. And real quick, while I'm looking at the outsole, I just want to make sure, I want to check and see, like, if this does any kind of glowing or anything. And I believe it does not. Looks cool under a black light, though. So anyway, there's that. That's a translucent sole. Cool stuff. Now, let's move on to the midsole, where, honestly, I think that's kind of the star of this show, outside of just the quality on the uppers. But your midsole... We'll start at the front. We got like this sort of aged cream color here. I'll turn this light down a little bit so you can see that vintage uh, aged midsole there. So it's cream kind of going all across the front and then on the bottom of the shoe, you see that cream. But of course, the star of this show is this midsole inspired by the sunset. And you can actually see where you've got this gradient. You go from like a really dark indigo to like a fuchsia pinkish to like the orange again mimicking the colors in a sunset um i was just on vacation looking at a sunset it looked very much like this so a great application of that theme really love the gradient on here and i think that um outside of like the whole rainbow aesthetic that bad bunny had been going for for or j balvin had been going for for a minute i like these a lot better than that but anyway there you go you got that now let's move on to the uppers where uh, you might not be able to tell, but this entire upper, it's not white. It is a cream, an aged sort of sail upper. And you got that tumbled leather. Let me go ahead and take out this paper that it's stuffed with so that you can see like just what that quality on that leather is. Kind of stiff on this pair. Oh, wait, there's another piece of paper in there. There we go. So, okay, not as stiff as I thought it was. Not as soft as I'm expecting the retails to be, but pretty cool tumble leather, nonetheless. So you got tumble leather all over this shoe. Uh, even the mudguard is a nice tumble leather instead of that smooth synthetic leather that we usually get on the Jordan 3. So very nice. Got some hits of new buck here. So right here on uh, the little eyelet section, you got that uh, gray new buck. Um, and then of course, looking at the elephant print, let's look at the elephant print. Normally you get a two-tone elephant print and this is kind of two-tone. You got that sort of cream with a bit of a darker cream on the elephant print detailing. So that's really nice. Love how low cut that elephant print is, by the way. Very nice, very nice detail. Um, now moving up to the lace bed, you see there's still that same soft tumble leather all the way up the tongue with the perforations there, of course. And then you got this sort of golden jump man, uh, also just kind of representing the sun. I like that a lot. And of course, looking at the back of the shoe, uh, you might not even be able to see it from this lighting, but you've got a translucent 
back tab. So that's different. You got this translucent, or it's mostly translucent, but like the backing has that color gradient on it. So you got the same sort of sunset with a translucent Nike Air on your left shoe. And important to note that the Air is that lightning bolt logo that uh, J Balvin likes so much. And then on the right shoe, it's the same, except you get that J Balvin logo, with the smiley face and the lightning bolts for the eyes. So that's really cool. That's just a really cool detail. Honestly, just the back half of this shoe really sets it off with that sunset theme, but the rest of the shoe is kind of calm and muted enough. Just make this a dope looking shoe for everyday wear, or at least fairly often wear. I'm assuming that we're going to get some yellowing on that outsole. And I think that'll honestly make the shoe look even better. So that's a pretty detailed look at the shoe. Let's take a look at the sock liner real quick. Got that golden yellow sock liner as well. And there we are off to the races. That's the shoe. Well, let's take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll talk about legit checking these shoes. So this comes in a special box. So it's a special box with a shroud. We've been seeing shrouds on a lot of collab shoes. We saw a shroud on the We The Best Jordan 5s. We saw a shroud on a bunch of Travis Scott releases. We got a shroud on these as well. So this shroud kind of gives like this sort of, all this like contrast, like a little mountainy range with the sort of sun rays. We see that. But let's take this black shroud off the box and see what comes in it. All right. Take that off. There you go. I don't know how well you can see that, the detail on that shroud. But then looking at the box itself, there you go. You got the J Balvin logo. I keep wanting to say Bad Bunny. Same person to me. <laughs> but you got the sun there. And then right here it says, a sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity is coming. Signed, J Balvin. So that's cool. And right here it says the same thing in Spanish. But I won't. I won't throw off my day by trying to pronounce that stuff in Spanish. So you open up the box. By the way, I did a whole full unboxing experience on my Instagram. So you can check out the reels as well as the YouTube shorts. Uh, but you can see that same little phrase about the sunset is there. And the paper, you got this gradient on it. So that's really nice. So that's what the box comes with. Now let's read the shoe size tag. Air Jordan 3 Retro SP. It just says multicolor. I feel like the real shoe says something different on the uh, size tag. So we'll see. But I got these in the size nine because I wear a size nine. I really love the elephant print on the bottom of this box and the fact that it's in purple. Really nice box. Nice packaging this time around. Now, I said we're going to talk about legit checking indicators. Um, one thing I didn't mention was this uh, detail, this hang tag. Got the J Balvin smiley face logo on the hang tag. Now, uh, quick legit checking indicators. First thing I would look for would be the shape of the shoe. You guys know the Jordan 3s have been coming slimmer and slimmer on the toe box region. And, um, you know, this shoe should be no exception. But I noticed that my, my toe box is just a little bit boxier, especially on my right shoe. The right shoe is boxier than the left shoe. Uh, specifically just the way that elephant print comes straight up. You've, you're seeing lately on these Jordan 3s a more like a 45 degree angle right here. So that's one thing I would look out for. The other thing I would look out for is the actual elephant print. Until we see these shoes in hand, we can't really say exactly what the elephant print is going to look like. It's typically inconsistent anyway, but I've seen some of these with a, a cartoonish looking elephant print. This pair, thankfully, doesn't have that going on, but hey, you never know. Other than that, we're going to be looking at the side-by-side -side view, looking at these right next to an authentic shoe to get a good sense for the size, the scaling of the shoe, um, how big the shoe is in different sizes and so on, as well as any differences in the color matching on this paint. That's something I think is going to be a pretty uh, common tell as the shoes make their way into the open market. Um, real quick, is there anything special going on on the insoles? Actually, yes, we've got like a sort of sunset graphic on the insole. So that's very cool. This is like that 
Dream Cell insole. They've been getting, putting all the Jumpman or all the Jordan releases here lately. You got that on the replicas as well. So be careful out there. Um, other than that, I feel like the other tail might be the placement on this smiley face. Just based on where the shroud is, I feel like either the smiley face should be moved down some or the shroud needs to, the print should be moved up a little bit to really make that sunset effect. Other than that, really, I don't really have anything to say about these shoes and legit checking other than, hey man, it's a collab shoe. This is going to be super hype, super limited. Um, once those resale prices start going crazy, I'd probably just stay away from this shoe, just to be honest, you know, unless you don't mind, you know, getting stuff on the underground, as they call it. Uh, I didn't even mention that these laces, we got like a set of cream colored laces. These are not wax laces. And I don't know if the re the authentic shoe is going to have wax laces or not, but these are not. And by the way, these laces are like super long. Like that's, why are these laces so long? That's probably another sign on these shoes. Like look, how, when you tie these, these are going to like just flop all over the place. So yeah, man, I don't know about that, but all in all, a dope shoe. Like I said, collab sneakers for me tend to be hit or miss. Um, the Tiana Taylor just had too much going on. The, I liked the DJ Khaled keep going uh, Jordan 5s. And I like these J Balvin Jordan 3s. I think those are two examples of collab sneakers done really well with nice quality and all that. So all in all, I think this is going to be a dope shoe. But I don't know, you know how much people are going to wear. Them. These look dope. Honestly, I'd wear these. But yeah, I think this is a dope shoe. I'd wear them. Let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. And check out my Instagram if you want more shots. I'll start doing on feet and stuff like that on Instagram. So follow me there. I'll see you guys in another review real soon. Again, big shout out to the homies that sent these over. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.